Marin with Intune Mobile. Today we're going to look at the updates in 3.1 Honeycomb on the Motorola Zoom for Verizon over here. To the left we have the Galaxy Tab 10.1 that's on 3.0.1. Even though it's just a .x update, there are a bunch of new features that really add up. So let's check it out. Here you have your standard home screen, but if you notice on the right, the little holographic UI, it's a lot smoother on 3.1. It's a subtle little difference, but it does it does impact how you use it and you can you can feel it. Additionally, you have your widgets here. 3.1, they're resizable now. So if you want to take your calendar, make it larger, you can. Same with your news widget, you can move it around, resize it, all of that. Honeycomb, you can't. Not a big deal, but very, very good for customizing, and if you want. So you notice the overall performance improvements, menus improvements, and one of the things I really like is the multitasking improvement. So I have a couple apps up here, but I've run a lot. So if you want to switch, you can go through, uh, you can go through multiple. But over here, you can see that it's just stuck there, even though I have multiple apps running. So let's open up the contacts again. And then if you want to switch, if you want to switch, it bumps off one. Whereas on the Honeycomb 3.1 version, you can keep on scrolling. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So we've set aside the tab to focus on the zoom in 3.1. And one of the cool things is in the browser. So here's Into Mobile, awesome site. A lot of improvements here. HTML5 videos play better within the browser. Just uh, overall performance improvements, quick, easy spot like that. A neat new thing on 3.1 that's not available on the tab right now is you have this labs tab. So you can go in there, hit the quick controls, and there's into mobile, but you notice there's no URL bar. So how do you navigate? You can, you know, do your pinch to zoom, simple stuff, but if you put your finger on the edge, uh, also partly off the bezel though, because you can't just put it there. You get your controls here, you get your back, forward, your URL bar right there, your settings, your bookmarks, you can bring that up, you can open up a new tab, like that. Uh, gives you more use of the real estate on the screen there. It takes a little while to get used to, but, but I like it. Another new improvement of Honeycomb 3.1 is that the folks at NVIDIA who make the Tegra 2 chip that's inside of here worked really closely with Adobe and Google to ensure that the flash experience on this is, is really good and high quality. What that means is you can get full 720p playback, no stuttering, no lag. Oops, we're on Vimeo right now. This looks like a HD video, so let's go full screen. So this one specifically said it's not optimized for mobile, but as you can see, it looks really good, it's playing back well, and so it's a desktop viewing experience on your tablet. Good stuff. Speaking of watching video, but 3.1 also brings the movie rental feature to your Honeycomb tablet. So here we're in the, we're in the Android market. Now you have this Movies tab up here. So let's pick the Hangover. So what I did, I just, there was a little pop-up window that shows your payment method that you've associated with it and your email. I cut that out just because I don't want you guys using that, but let's play. You can also download it. A screen just popped up that showed which email account I was using. That's my personal email, so not doing this. These are the top rentals. This is what I've rented. You can play it in you can play it within 30 days. I'm gonna start it right now. That's you know three bucks that I'm spending for you guys. Hope you're happy. Yeah, why not?
So it's buffering now. My connection's been a little spotty, so don't don't think of that as the service. It's not at full bars, but it's in. Uh, some of the other improvements in 3.1 Honeycomb is just overall graphics improvements. You saw the Tegra Zone icon on my home screen, and what that you know that gives you games that are optimized for this. They've shown me charts that show 3.1, the gameplay performance is uh, so much better than previous experiences. Here you can have all this information. You see, you notice when you're done scrolling, it gives you that little light up at the top, similar to what we've seen in Gingerbread, to let you know that you're at the top of the menu. Well, this has taken forever, so... We'll hop out of that. But that's a quick look at Android 3.1 Honeycomb on the Motorola Zoom. Another really cool option that it enables is it lets you do USB host mode through this. So you can plug in cameras, uh, USB sticks, video game controllers as well to interact, keyboards, mice. Unfortunately, I don't have the correct adapter, but I'm going to make a run to fries, get it, and I'll shoot a video of that too. So thanks for watching. We'll have more for you soon.